Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Brandon from Audio Addiction. It's been a little bit since I've done a metal reaction video, but I feel like I gotta come back and do some of them. Uh, it's just so difficult, you know? There's so much music that comes out, and you know, your boy being Audio Addiction, I gotta cover a, a large, large net of all of it. But either way, really excited to be back. Uh, I am going to be checking out Grey Haven's new song, The Welcome Party, off of their new EP uh, that they just uh, announced. It's going to be on Solid State Records uh, and it's called Stereo Grief. So go check it out. I'll leave links below to go uh, pick it up and also a link if you want to watch uh, my interview with Brent that I did like last year. It was amazing and Brent's such a such a cool dude so i love that guy so go check out great haven but if you have not listened to the song it's time to get into it let's uh go show it some love oh yeah That like tapping riff is insane. Why does Greyhaven stay being the best band? I don't even know. Oh, I like this, like, ambiance to this track. Little dark, little dark vibes. Yeah. This chorus smacks. Oh my god! Alright guys, that was Greyhaven, the welcome party. Holy shit! Um, man. I, I, I just gotta say, I, I love this band. I feel like people know this about me by now at this point, and if you don't, I love this band. Man, just such a really intricate song. 
I'm so excited to listen to it a little bit more. Obviously, this is the first time listening to it. First first run through, you know? But I had high I had high hopes it was going to be a good song. You know, so much in fact that I pre-ordered the EP today and just off whim knew that it was gonna be good enough to to you know, obviously add to my collection, but I, I feel like I made a good purchase. That's all I'm going to say. I feel like I crushed it on that. But this song is just, if you have not heard of Greyhaven, I feel like this is probably a really good song to start off with. It has all of the elements that I love about uh, both records, um, as well as some of their earlier material as well. Um, but I would argue it's a good mix between like um, Empty Black um, and their previous album as well. I can't remember the name because I know it's a little bit longer and your boy is a little spaced out from how good the song was. But um, it it just kind of gives that sort of... Uh, it gives that sort of vibe that they're always trying to elevate what they're doing. You know, like I feel like with every release, I'm always like... You know, what is Greyhaven going to give me this time around that I will will fall in love with ultimately? But what are they going to do? You know, because I feel like they always try to one up themselves with each release. And I just love that because it, there was some really cool like guitar work. Their guitar player is probably arguably one of my favorite guitar players in the scene right now. Uh um, he always has this really interesting way of coming up with guitar riffs and it's only one guitar player which I think is always really incredible to me that there's so much good riffing going on with just one guitar part I think there's you have to give it up just for that alone I feel like that takes a lot of skill um, to be able to hold it down but also their bass player is really fantastic and I think also kind of plays that like that middle role of being kind of a rhythm guitar player but also at the same point obviously lending the the bass skills um, out on this and obviously has to be pretty proficient in the instrument to kind of rally those two points so I think that obviously both their guitar player as well as their uh, bass player are also really sick but on top of that they also have a really fantastic drummer i think it's just kind of all around as a unit they just really know how to write and do it really well together and they feel comfortable in putting out some like unique things that i feel like most bands in the genre right now aren't kind of doing so i i do really appreciate that um as well as that, i think there was a lot of great like vocal layering going on in this track more specifically um in that like second verse was really cool it gave this like sort of dark and like ominous sort of feel to it um with like kind of those like choral sort of vocals from brent that was really sick um but also kind of you know handling out like that main vocal line really really sick enjoyed that a ton but as well as that i think there was just a lot of great like rhythm switches i think there's a lot of great movement to the track that just keeps it really fun and obviously that chorus just like everything kind of builds to that chorus and the way that they were able to kind of deliver that sort of intensity is always really fun to me so i absolutely love that element of the track and i think it obviously ties it all together um but as well as that, i think uh it it marks kind of like at least for me another new era of uh, of, of Greyhaven because there was definitely some elements where I think Brent was able to kind of do a little bit more singing which I would kind of argue Greyhaven does a really great job of incorporating both screams and cleans um, there are some songs that are just obviously primarily just screaming um, and there are some songs that are all, all just singing mostly or like you know 80%, 90% in terms of singing and then having a little bit of screaming in there. Um, this kind of feels a little bit more like 60-40, I would say. There was definitely, I would say, more of a leaning towards singing, which is not a bad thing. I think Brent's got really great, like, clean vocal tone. I also love that he incorporates, like, a lot of that, like, sort of, like, rasp and sort of grittiness in terms of his clean styling. I think that's always been something that I like and gravitate towards as well. Um, but I think he does a great job of kind of naturally incorporating that into Greyhaven material. Um, so really enjoyed that a lot. And I think this song kind of reminds me a little bit of Foreign Anger, which is, um, off their previous record. Um, but also like 
elements of some of their stuff from empty black as well um as i mentioned previously it kind of feels like a good middle ground between all those things and i'm i I think it makes me overall curious to hear the rest of the ep um i believe it is five songs so they may or may not release another single by the time you know the album is about to release because it is coming out in may so you know quickish you know quickish turnaround i guess per se um but yeah, I think these. I'm curious to hear how varied they are because I feel like sometimes with groups, um, especially when they do EPs, it's like you get to do stuff that's maybe a little bit outside of the typical like you know wheelhouse of what you normally do. Um, so I'm, I'm curious if Greyhaven kind of broke out and did a little bit of uh, something else this time around. Uh, maybe we're able to explore more sounds. Definitely feels like that in terms of that like interesting like guitar tapping line at the beginning part portion of that first verse and i think it was also in the second verse as well um just cool musical motif as well um so overall you already know your boy's very hyped for gray haven i love this band i feel like i go without saying it most days here on the show so um love gray haven i'm gonna definitely be keeping an eye out for what they have coming up next so what do you think about the welcome party let me know down in the comments would love to know your thoughts on the track and if you have checked out gray haven if this may be the first song you listen to let me know what you think uh would definitely love to get your thoughts on it as well and if you're excited for uh stereo grief uh coming out because i know i'm really excited about it so thanks for watching If you like this reaction video, hopefully more to come, but uh, definitely we'll be keeping an eye out for more metal material as we go forward. So if you like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It goes a long way, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Peace.